Hi everyone, it's Melissa from Bespoke Hairstyles. Do you like my hair? We're going to try and recreate it. Again, I'll show you what it's like up so you understand what we're working with and whether you like the style or not. And now I'm going to take it down for you and we are going to try and recreate this style. Now, I am going to try and recreate this style within 10 minutes because that's my commitment to you is to help you style your hair under 10 minutes basically that's the challenge so here we go hair's down and um when you're styling please do not pull on your follicles don't pull on your follicles because they are more important without them you will not have hair growing so look after them first. So when you're trying to style, if it means you're using a little hairband or using a pin instead of pulling your hair, then just do that. But just don't hurt your follicles. So hair's down and we begin. So here we go. Center fringe. Decide how much hair you want um, and feel. And feel how much hair you want. Right. And then to the sides. I mean, no, you can see I've taken some locks to the sides of my head to the side. And I'm basically going to, instead of using a band, you could use a band at this point. I'm not. I'm just going to kind of, I've tied it in. This style is for anyone, not just sister locks, people, uh, traditional locks, anyone really who feels they can create this style. Afro hair wearers, um, anyone really, perm, extensions, um, as long as you feel you have the hair type to try and create the style, do share. Um, I'm appreciating all your comments, all your feedback, all your likes. I am just so happy that you are liking what I'm doing. So please stay connected. Keep watching what I'm doing now and on the channel and keep telling me what you'd like from me and if I can't do it I'll let you know and if I can do it I'll do it that's the idea it's about interaction and if I don't know I'll try and learn um yeah that's the idea stay connected because that's what it's about um, but yeah with my head turned I say thank you my head is turned for a reason I'm trying to show you the style you see what I'm doing? I'm just taking bunches and then resting it on the mohawk and then tying the hair, using the hair as a band um, to keep it in place. Again, can you see what I'm doing? I take some bunches of hair and I put it down and then I use the hair as a band to basically keep it in place. Now, any loose hair, I will tuck in. This is a quite an unnatural position for me because normally I'd be low, bend my head low. So this is it. It's all pulled in and then I'm going to try and braid in. Okay. Now, I say I'm braiding in, but really what I'm doing is taking loosely uh, because I don't want to pull on my follicles and neither do you. Um, because you're just trying to keep this, the centre bit that you've created all tucked in. So it's not really even, I wouldn't even call it um inverted braid. Because you're literally overlapping and you're letting go. You're putting it left, the right against the left and then you're letting go. The right few loxy, I've just got like two and you're letting go. I've got another two and you're letting go. Because I want, I mean, you could decide you want it tightly like neatly braided in but I just want the kind of messy finish because I want to do it quickly um, and I like that look basically and I also don't want to pull on my follicle so that's why I'm kind of just using the edges to tuck to literally just kind of hold it in look there's a loose bit and I'll just bring that across. That's it. 
Now, you can then begin to think at this point, where do I want my hair to fall? I'm thinking I want my hair to fall to the right. So if you notice my hand, I'm kind of moving towards the right. So I'm taking it from the left and I'm pulling it towards the right at this point. So you can do the same thing. And um, just keep braiding or kind of loosely tucking in um, whatever you want. Or you could just twist it, you know, do it like a big twist um, in. And then um, I'm feeling through, as I said, this is a guide. So if there are any loose bits, I will um, tuck in at the end. But if, if you can see the loose bits and I can't, that's all right, because this is just for you as a guide to achieving a style of sort um, within 10 minutes. That's the idea. So... I hope I'm on track. Do you think you could achieve this style? I hope you can. Let me know. Feedback, please. Right. So I've just kind of loosely braided and, I, and then you could just tuck it in under. It's up to you how you want it. I want length. I want it to feel slightly long and short and, and messy and I don't like it. So I'm going to lose it because I want it to be a bit fuller. That's it. So the, the braided bit that I had, I will just use one more, like one of my locks to kind of hold it in. See, that's what happens with styles. That's why I like doing it live, because it just shows you that there are times when it goes wrong and there are times when it looks fab. Just work with it there because I wanted kind of like the fullness there that's it do you like let me know feedback please um that's it oh. thank you everyone for watching this watching this video and let me know if you are able to recreate it and please stay connected because there's going to be more styles. And as I say, there's going to be responses to all your comments and your suggestions. And that's it. Continual interaction. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I'll do another 360 degree so you can see. And um, stay connected, everyone. Thank you again. Bye.